What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we're going to talk about some taxes today. Yes, it's tax season. A lot of people are paying their taxes. As a reseller, last year was my official full-time year being like a full-time reseller. Like I didn't have any other job. Okay, they did give me another W-2, but that was literally for like an hour of work. <laughs> but like reselling was my full-time job, reselling YouTube. And today I'm going to talk a little about how I kept track of my expenses and why it was important that I did actually keep track of my expenses. Even the small things that people probably don't even know that they probably should have kept for their taxes. And I'm also going to reveal how much I got back for my taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where my money at? But we're going to do all that in this video and more. And this is not a sponsored video, but I am going to talk about QuickBooks. It is what I use to keep up with everything in my business. I love QuickBooks because I can literally link it to my bank account and it pulls all my information and it saves all my transactions. If I get gas, it knows I got gas. If I get food, it knows I got food. If I made some income, it knows I made an income. And you can set those categories up all throughout the year and it makes it so, so simple. So when you do file your taxes, you know exactly what you need to input in whatever platform that you use um, for your taxes. I personally use TurboTax. Uh, I know some people use Hewitt Packler or Hewitt Jackson Hewitt, whatever those people are. And then you have H&R Blocks. You know, you, some people have their own accountants and et cetera, et cetera. But I want to take on taxes a little bit more and I want to get as much knowledge as I can personally. So last year I did my own taxes. The year before that I did my own taxes. This year I did my own taxes completely by myself and I'm pretty happy and pretty satisfied. So I'm not going to reveal like all of my numbers, but I will reveal some numbers just to kind of help you understand what I kept track of and how I maximized all of my tax credits because that's what it's about, especially when you're in the business. That's the most important thing. We are trying to maximize as many tax breaks and credits as we can because in the at the end of the year, that's going to help us not have to pay as much money back if we owe taxes, which I'll get into all that here in a little bit. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this app that I was talking about. So right here, this is the self-employed app, the QuickBooks self-employed app. And as you can see right now, it tracks my mileage. It tracks my transactions. You can see all of that by looking at the bottom. You can see it's the dashboard, your transactions, your mileage. You can even create invoices and actually pay your taxes, tax prep from this app. But I'm gonna go to the dashboard and we're going to filter it last year. And as you can see, it said my income was $40,000 and my expenses was $34,000 and I have transactions to review, yada, yada, yada. So what I love about this app is I can actually click the expenses expenses and it will take me into the expenses and I can see my expenses from last year. So as you can see on my expenses, every month it kept track of my profits, my expenses, yada, yada, yada. And right here, you can see exactly where all the expenses came from. Car and truck expenses, office expenses, contract labor, your material and supplies, your other business expenses, your meals, your travel expenses, utilities, your interest paid, your advertisements, commissions, rep uh, repairs and maintenance, entertainment, all of that. It's kept track for you. What happens is when you make a payment somewhere, which I already talked about, it will come to this app. And then when it comes to the app, you will have to category, cat, put it in a category of exactly what it was. So if it was an office expense, if I know if I go to Home Depot and I buy me some pins for my office when I pay with my card, that's why it's important to keep all of your business and personal transactions separate, have separate bank accounts. And that's why I have a business account. I literally only spend money for business things with that car. So any transaction comes to this app and it helps me keep track of it every time. Cause somebody told me that you need to keep track of all your receipts, which I do because this app also lets you take pictures of those receipts and it stores it. It will match the receipt 
to the transaction from your bank card. So once you take a picture of that receipt, it will see, hmm, okay, well this, the, the number on the receipt says 4702. Your bank account has 4702 too that you spent at Office Depot. And it will link those up and automatically categorize it for you. That's why I love the app. So when tax time come, that's what that's why we go to H&R Block. We go to H&R Block, we take all of our receipts and we take it to them and then they figure all this stuff out for us. But now they have apps where they can track our mileage. They can take, they, they can track our receipts. All we have to do is take pictures now. Like they have these apps that are convenient for us to put more money in our pockets by utilizing these apps so we can get more money in our taxes versus going to H&R Block and giving them $300 for stuff that we could have been keeping track of all year long. So that's why I love this app in particular. With all that being said, my expenses gets calculated and you know, I'm not, we're not about to go in and I'm not about to show you how to file your taxes, but all that information gets inputted in your TurboTax or whatever that you use. I'm gonna just keep saying TurboTax because that's what I personally use. But all that information gets put in your TurboTax and it's convenient, it's right there for you. So when you're filing your taxes and you go under your eBay job information and you have your expenses, it's all there for you. If you have any other business and you have your expenses, it's all there for you. How many mileage did you track this year? It's all there for you. Like last year, guys, I, traveled 29,902 miles and that was just for business alone. That's not including my personal mileage, which I think I drove like 38 something thousand miles last year. But you know, I did take a big road trip last year and then I did move and I would go travel back and forth all the time. I had my convention. So I did have a lot of expenses last year because the convention was a business expense. All that traveling, I'm keeping track of those mileage because they are business related. That's business expenses. And in my mileage alone, potential deductions in my mileage alone was $16,000. So... Yeah, I needed that. That's what helped me. And I'm about to reveal now. That's what helped me when I filed my taxes. So when I entered all this information, because, you know, your boy made around 40 something grand last year. It is what it is. But um, we made around 40 grand last year. But I didn't pay any federal taxes last year. I didn't pay any. I got paid from YouTube. You know, you're supposed to save money from YouTube. You know, so when you add all that together, I made around 40 something grand, you know, but I didn't pay taxes. So, you know, when this tax time come, I thought your boy was going to owe like three or four grand. And when I imputed, when I imputed input all my information, I did owe like around two grand or so. But last year I had money like rolled over to this year. Like every year I save some money in my taxes. I don't know why I do it, but I do it, especially in my state. Like I tell them, okay, only pay me 80% of my state, hold the other 20% back and I'll get the rest of it next year. I don't know why I do that, but it's just something I do. But with that being said, like I owed money and then I input all the information from TurboTax, QuickBooks, and then my federal return changed. I didn't owe no money no more didn't owe nothing they didn't know me either yeah yeah they did they did they didn't know me either your boy got a whopping zero dollars back on his taxes yeah yeah zero zero dollars zero dollars i've been filing taxes every year that i'm not locked up because i've had a job every year that i'm not locked up and I've always gotten money back. Always gotten money back. They've always taken. I've always put zero. Like how many? How many do you file? I always put zero. I never claim ten and fifteen like some people do. And then at the end of the year, they always own money. But I always put zero. And this year, as a full-time business owner, I get zero dollars back. <laughs> you know how I felt about that, though. Honestly, good. I felt good because I knew I didn't pay any taxes this year federally. Only taxes I did pay this year was my state taxes. Like you have to pay your state tax. Well, I pay my state taxes monthly. Let me go ahead and say that. I personally pay my state taxes monthly, but federal taxes, I usually just wait till the end of the year and see what I owe and go from there. And you know, you're supposed to try to save to pay for those taxes. But 
like I told you, I thought I was gonna owe like around two grand because eBay did do okay. I made six grand from YouTube, that, which did okay. Macari here. Um, I did have another eBay account that I have to have half of the responsibility for as well. So there's a lot of different avenues of incomes coming from and expenses that I just wanted to make sure that I filed and took care of because we need all these tax credits. My phone, I have two different phones. One phone is a straight talk phone. I pay $55 a month for it. That's my personal phone. And then I got me a new phone, pay a hundred and something dollars a month, which I can't stand. I'm probably about to go to straight talk with that, but it's a business phone, straight business expense. That's a hundred something dollars every month that I get to claim because I literally use that phone only for business. Like people don't have that number because it's my business phone number. Yeah, and that's a tax break for me. The space that I use for my store, my eBay store tax break for me the equipment that I purchased this year the computers the printers the whatever cameras like all that tax breaks so make sure that we are saving these receipts and especially as resellers we are going out there and we are donating a lot of these items because we are just tired of looking at them make sure that we are saving these goodwill donation stickers and when the goodwill gives you a donation sticker back and it's empty just kind of write on there what you donated so you have a good idea at the end of the year what you need to claim for donations and you're going to need those stickers too because they're going to ask you the address of certain uh, of the place that you donated. So just make sure that we have all the information so we can maximize these tax breaks, especially the mileage. I think that's something that people really neglect. People drive a lot when it comes to these sourcing adventures. Like I said, you have to drive somewhere to go sourcing. You have to drive somewhere to go shipping. Your shipping fees, your Amazon fees, your eBay fees, like all these are tax deductible that people aren't claiming. It doesn't take that long to look on your eBay account and just see all the fees that they charged you and then go claim those. Um, same thing with Amazon or your shipping fees. Like it's, I know some people like to ship not through eBay sometimes. They just want to go straight to the post office and ship an item. Tax deductible. Make sure that we're claiming those on your taxes as well. Again, I need to say I am not a tax expert, but I filed my taxes, which doesn't still make me a tax expert, but I've successfully filed my taxes for a few years in a row. And then I've been just, you know, obviously there's tons of information out there on YouTube who people want to give you free tax advice because people actually care about you and your business and they actually want to see you maximize your potential, especially when it comes to these tax breaks. Because why do you think the rich stay richer? I finally know that. So with all me telling you that your boy got a whopping zero dollars back this year, I did a lot of things that I should have probably paid taxes on in, 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 in retrospect, but because of the expenses related to that business, in the end, they, I may not have gotten any money back this year or maybe never again because I plan on always to be kind of in the profit but have my business run in the negative. Who knows? But I see how, I was about to name somebody by name uh, former president, but I see how people don't want to show <laughs> their tax returns and why they take advantage of the system like they do. I'm just saying, if it's out there, if there are breaks for you to find in in the law when it comes to these taxes, I encourage you to make sure that we are maximizing all of them. I spoke to two people over the last few weeks when it came to taxes i literally helped somebody do their taxes step by step step by step like i had to come to them and talk to them tell them about things that they weren't even thinking about claiming like they were like oh yeah i did do that you know oh yeah that's true you know i did so there's so many things that people do that's related to their business that that they really don't even know some people like i said even when it comes down to like shipping expenses that's you can claim that on your taxes i mean there's just so much um youtubers that's a whole nother realm there's a lot of things you can claim like your phone and your cameras and your equipment and yeah the place that you're recording like all that stuff man when you go meet other youtubers and there's again there's so much that you can claim certain meals certain just do your research that's all i'm saying don't just listen to me don't take my word for it just make sure you do your research but yeah your boy getting nothing back for taxes. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, since I'm not getting nothing back, can I get a dollar? Let me get it. I, that's all I want. I just want a dollar. That's it. That's it. 
It's, if you can't even give me a dollar, just make sure you do this. Make sure that you bless somebody today, because that's more important than anything. Make sure that you bless somebody today, because I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm taxless, but I'm out. I did get something on state, though. I did, I did, I did get something back from state.